So in this video we're going to have a look at the equations of constant acceleration in kinematics. So in the top right hand corner of the screen there, V equals U plus AT is one of them, S equals UT plus a half AT squared, S equals VT minus a half AT squared, V squared equals U squared plus 2AS, and S equals a half of U plus V times T. They're all the equations of constant acceleration, and you don't need to remember those because they're given in your formula sheet. But what we do need to know is what each of the letters means. So S is displacement. U is initial velocity. V is final velocity. A is acceleration and t is time and you'll sometimes you'll sometimes see these called the suvat equations i'll make that a look a little bit more like an a so let's have a look at the question here it says an object is projected vertically upwards with speed seven meters per second calculate the speed of the object when it is 2.1 meters above the point of projection okay so what we're going to do we're going to take stock of the situation by writing all the letters in the equations and just writing down the values of some of the ones that we have. So it's projected vertically upwards with speed 7 metres per second. What we also need to do is decide on what our positive direction is going to be. Now that's very important. We could decide up or down. In this case, I'm going to decide up is the positive direction. You could easily decide that down is and as long as you're consistent you'll end up with the same answer so an object is projected vertically upwards with speed seven meters per second let's do a diagram as well so there's the object projected vertically upwards then back down again so it tells us that the initial velocity is seven i.e. u equals 7. Now if you chose your positive direction to be down, u would be minus 7, because initially it's travelling upwards at 7 metres per second. It's told us that it's 2.1 metres above the point of projection. Again, 2.1 metres up. Velocity, we don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. Acceleration, in this case we know is due to gravity. And the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. But look carefully at the direction. Our positive direction is upwards, but gravity is causing the object to accelerate downwards. Therefore, acceleration in this case is minus 9.8. So remember, if you chose your positive direction to be down, that value would be 9.8. Right, so let's have a look now at all the equations. We've got all the information we're being given down on paper. Let's have a look at which equation allow us to find the velocity so v equals u plus at well we need v but we haven't got t so it's not going to be that equation s equals ut plus a half at squared well we need v and v is not in that equation s equals vt minus a half at squared well v is in there and we need v however it's got a variable t which we haven't got a value for v squared equals u squared plus 2as. Well, we need v. We've got u, we've got a, and we've got s. So that's the equation we need to use. v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So let's just write it down. v squared equals u squared plus 2as. Now, in the sciences, I know teachers often encourage you to rearrange the formula here and now. However, I'm, my personal opinion is that it's easier to put the numbers in first before you arrange. So v squared equals u squared plus 2 a s and actually this one didn't need any rearrangement equals okay so 7 squared plus 2 minus 9.8 times 2.1 equals 196 
over 25 or 7.84. Okay, so then that means v equals the square root of 7.84 equals the square root of that equals 14 over 5 or 2.8 meters per second. Now, if you'd have got a negative value for velocity, which is perfectly plausible, you'd need to make it positive. It asks for the speed of the object, not the velocity. So and speed is always a positive number. So if you took down to be your positive direction, you've got negative 2.8 here. You'd have to convert that to 2.8. Okay, part two. The greatest height above the point of projection reached by the object. So again, S, U, V, A, T. So the greatest height, we don't know. S is what we're trying to find. The initial velocity, we're told, was 7. V, we know at the greatest point... The highest point which is here it's just on the point of turning back so the velocity here is actually zero for a moment an instantaneous moment the velocity is zero just while it turns v equals naught and a is again negative 9.8 and t we don't know so again it looks like a v squared equals u squared plus 2as equation v squared equals u squared plus 2as and this one we will have to rearrange but again my suggestion is put the numbers in first naught squared equals 7 squared plus 2 minus 9.8s which means that minus 7 squared equals 2 times minus 9.8s which means that s equals minus 7 squared over uh, 2 times minus 9.8 equals, and putting that in the calculator, minus 7 squared, try again, minus 7 squared over 2 times minus 9.8 equals 5 over 2 or 2.5. 2.5 meters. Finally, part three, the time after projection when the object is traveling downwards with speed 5.7 meters per second. So again, S U V A T. So this time we don't know the displacement. We know the initial velocity is seven upward. We know the velocity um is 5.7 downward that's been given the question but we decided right at the start of this question that up was our positive direction that means that down would be a negative number minus 5.7 and a is minus 9.8 but this time it's t we're trying to find so t is our unknown so having a look at which equation might fit the bill, we can see it's V equals U plus AT. The reason for that is we've got V, we've got U, we've got A, and there's one unknown, we're trying to find T. So V equals U plus AT is the equation we're going to use. So minus 5.7 equals 7 plus minus 9.8 T which then implies that minus 5.7 minus 7 over minus 9.8 equals t. And putting that in the calculator, minus 5.7 minus 7 over minus 9.8 equals 1.30 seconds to three significant figures. So for more videos like this, go to a 11 or subscribe to our YouTube channel.